Yeah, hello. Yep, I'm hanging out again. Anyway, I wanted to do some more stuff with me talking about books. I was going to stick some face on while I was at it. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. I'm using this. This is the CC color unisex one. And it's one of the new ones that I picked up because on sale. We can do that. Part of my Christmas allowances. Anyway. One of the book series that I've been reading, because I told you about Ashley Capes already, but one of the other ones that I've started reading that I've been picking, that I picked up originally the same way is, you know, I'm really loving the free and or cheap books on Amazon. The book series, well, it's actually two series. There's Queen's Alpha and Queen's Omega. The Alpha is a young woman trying to figure out what to do after her father the king has been killed and his, her mother has been gone for a long time um and supposedly her twin brother is the one that's causing all the big kerfuffle in the palace and there's explosions and here let me show you how to escape and that kind of thing. So she's like out in the big world with no help. Never really been out in the big world. And she's, you know, she's a teenager. <coughs> so she's like trying to figure out what to do next. And is mostly just scared. And believe it or not, she runs into a few little magic critters here and there, and the magic critters set her on a path. Managed to get her met up with some people that can help her. And it goes through this whole adventure that these kids are going on. They're, they're like you know, most of them are teenagers of one variety of an, or another. And they're trying to figure out their place in the world. And she's trying to figure out what's going on with the brother and the kingdom. This thing is 12 books. Okay? 12 books. Now, the series is considered a young adult, but the storyteller, W.J. May, is excellent. Really great storyteller. Really good stuff. I like the variety in the kind of issues they have to chase down, all that. I think it's really well done. And there are times I really feel sorry for some of the participants because they are in situations they have never thought to be in ever and now they're in it together with people they have never known until just now 
and they have to get everything together. They have to figure out how to work together, have to figure out why to work together. They have to figure out what they're going to do about some conflicting and new emotions. So yeah, it's the young adult thing. But the story itself is excellent. The story is wonderful. The only thing that bugs me is with some of the young adult series, there's a habit of leaving, you know, join us next time for the next episode dot 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 kind of ending to each of the story segments. Which, if, like Queen's Alpha, Queen's Alpha is, that series is complete. But the Queen's Omega is not. I got through Queen's Omega and I'm sitting there going, okay, where's the next? It hasn't come out yet. The next book was not out when I got to the end of the last one I had in hand. And I flipped. I tend to read pretty fast. And which is handy because I like to read a lot. But let me tell you, when you're hooked into a story and you read pretty fast, you kind of have to hope that either the series has been finished or the next book is coming out quickly. Queen's Omega, the next book is due out in February. On my Kindle, I have pre-purchased this thing. Doesn't mean I'm not just like going, tag! Come on! Because I'm impatient, because I really like this series. Now, there's one of the series that I got started on, and this is the first time I have ever done this. Usually, if I'm not fond of a series, I may not finish buying the books. But in this case, I not only didn't finish buying the books, I returned them. The one that I'm talking about now is, is based on vampires. Now, vampires is not the issue. The issue I'm having is there is a couple of characters in this story that have been together as vampires are capable of doing because of their longevity, or depending on how you look at it, long deathity. And they promised each other they would be together forever, yada, yada. And this is one of those vampire things where the characters are capable of mating as vampires and producing vampire children as well as doing, you know, the turn them kind of thing. If they find somebody they want to do that with. And I 
this whole thing just goes kind of nuts. You know, they've been together 80 years, 10 kids, but this other vampire that's supposedly part of a prophecy comes rolling along. And now, 80 years worth of history doesn't seem to make too much of a deal. And I'm like, dude, seriously. Seriously. Can we take a step back? Because the prophecy has a way out. And mislead character doesn't take a moment or two to even explore the way out. She just starts making, you know, noises about you know, prophecies and destinies and stuff. While the person that she has called the love of her life for more than 80 years is kind of like just shoved off to the side. And I'm going. Really, guys? Really? Really? We are going there, apparently. I'm just... I was so PO'd because you spend the first, God help me, six books rooting for this couple. And then, all of a sudden, it's over. They had to get past family stuff. They had to get past kidnap and spells and stuff that tried to keep them apart. And memory losses and all manner of stuff. And you're going, yes, yes, we can do this. We can do this. And then, oof. And I'm like, yeah, no. I'm not going there. Now, it's not to say, in particular, that the writer is necessarily a bad writer. But when that particular thing happened, where this couple that has been fighting for 80 years to stay together all of a sudden blows apart, I was just plain pissed. I just was. And the idea of finishing the books, even though a lot of the rest of it has to do more with their children than with them themselves, I'm going, yep, lost it, got nothing for you. So... Plus, I've been looking at some of the books that just, that seem to be in the kind of stuff that I would read, but then you get into it and you're going, 
Now with series books, you can see it if you've gotten like a box set of the whole series, which you can do on several different formats. I usually use my Kindle, not because I like Amazon specifically, but because I was gifted with a Kindle and I don't want to spend the money to buy a different book right now. So I'm still doing my Kindle. And yes, I'm having fun doing my eyebrows today. And I'm trying to figure out why some people would want to be so slack with their writing that you can go down the series if you get the box set. And with the box set, they're so close together, it's easier to pinpoint. Because you're going from book to book. And it's like they have taken every blessed love scene. And the one that I just got finished with that was doing this, it was literally pick up and copy paste into the next book. And I had proof because in some cases, the uh, names hadn't entirely been changed. Now, I spoke about this the other day in the update. But I'm going to tell you. The thing that bugs me the most is that it appears to me that it happens most often in the shifters, you know, the shape shifters. And I'm going, guys. Just because they're shapeshifters, just even because they happen to be, in some cases, siblings, doesn't mean they are necessarily going to make love the same way. And could somebody please tell me, please, please, please tell me why some of these people are absolute size queens. And if you don't understand the phrase, be careful if you try to look it up. All of the males seem to be extraordinarily endowed. And all of the females seem to be absolutely enamored with this extraordinariness. And I'm going, people, I understand it's a fantasy book, but could we please remember that not everybody in the world wants the biggest thing on the planet in particular and not everybody in the world is actually capable of handling particular things of more size than is absolutely necessary. It's like, come on. Like I said, I know it's a fantasy, but could we get a reality check here?
Anyway. My recommendation is to read W.J. May's Alpha Queen and Omega Queen. I think most people who are into decent fantasy will get along with this. It's a very good story. It's got some complexities. It's got some complex characters. It's got some variants in how people change as they get more experience. And I'm rather fond of it. Now, if any of you have any particular books that you want to recommend, leave a few down in the comments and I'll see if I can get a hold of them and read them and tell you what I think. In the meantime, I'm back in school. The classes have restarted. We'll see what happens. Every class is a new adventure, which is kind of nifty. And then we will see how things work out as we go along. I've got through the beginning of 2022 but I've got classes scheduled for and I can ask them if they'll let me out <laughs> with a piece of paper which could be fun it would be nice to get out I really would. It would be nice, really nice to get out one piece of paper after all the trouble. And let's see, I've got if you guys. Like I said, if you guys have any books that you want to have talked about, let me know. I will see what I can do. No guarantees, no promises. In the meantime, I'll be right back. Well, that's as finished as this is going to get. Yes, I've got on eyelashes. Got my little magnetics out. Anyway, got any books you want me to read? Got any books you don't want me to read? Got any books you've written? How about poems? Anything. By the way, as I said when I did the Ashley Capes, I don't know WJ May. I don't have any kind of affiliation. I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Kindle. I'm not sponsored by Amazon Books. Nothing. <coughs> I'm not even sponsored by C Color. I use their palette. <clears throat> Unisex one. It's kind of pretty. I like it. I picked up a, a whole unisex line since I had some wherewithal during Christmas. But that's 
that's about all I picked up during Christmas and after such. So there won't be whole lots of hauls or any of that stuff to, to watch. There's the look. Go read. I don't care what you read. Mystery, romance, fantasy, a good textbook, if you're interested in a subject. Go read. It's good for you. It really is. No telling what you might learn. Be good.